welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today today's video is going to be a get ready with me video so chloe and i are going to have a really awesome mommy daughter date i am taking her to see disney on ice today and i'm super excited because i ended up buying us matching outfits um and i will tell you all about that <laughs> while i'm getting ready but um i don't want to keep wasting time so um i just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by for the video and i hope that you'll stick around all the way to the end make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and hit that red subscribe button for me um join my family here on youtube we would love to have you be a part of this with us and it really really helps my channel out so i can keep making more content for you guys and i hope you guys like this get ready with me so for those of you who don't know um i for the past several years five or six years um i have been doing hair and makeup for weddings so um when i i am you know trained in hairstyling and in makeup artistry and so um I like to sometimes do fun stuff. Um, today I'm going to be doing a pretty simple curl um, on my hair and I'm just going to be using my GHD straightener. Um, for those of you who have never heard of a GHD before, um, this is... Da, da, da. Hello. There we go. This is the brand. Um, I have the white one. I almost wish that I had not gotten the white one, even though I love white stuff because um, just from hair product and stuff getting on it, it does get a little dirty over time. I mean, I've had this for years um, and it still looks pretty good, but um, they do have a black one. So if you're planning on getting, like, getting this, I recommend getting the black one just because, you know, why not? Um, anyway, so we're going to do curls that are with my straightening iron. I just want to do some beachy waves and um, I'm going to show you guys really simple ways to do this um, that anyone can do. You don't have to. I don't have a scrunchie on my arm. That's a band-aid. Um, I don't. You don't have to be professional to do what I'm going to do. This is super, super easy, guys. Okay, so um, let's get my ADHD stuff out of the way. I have a band-aid because I burned my arm on a pot that I took out of like a pan I took out of the oven um and I burned it and so it's shaped like a little moon on my arm um so that's healing good 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 um <laughs> the next thing that I wanted to say is right now in order to have my camera set up I have it on a paint can we're gonna be painting my bedroom soon and um I think I'll be vlogging I'm not sure but I have it set up literally on a paint can and I am currently I'll show you guys standing like that so that I'm in frame. So um, when you guys watch videos of people on YouTube, just remember all the effort that they put in. I mean, I'm, I'm doing like really wide leg sumo squats right now for you guys, just so that you guys can see me on camera. <laughs> so what I'm going to be using today, um, I have, it is argan oil. It is good. It's 100% pure argan oil, Moroccan oil, some people say. Um, it is, I'm gonna put like four drops over between my fingers and just rub it on my hair here. Um, I have really dry bleach color treated hair. So I like to use something that is like straight oil for a heat protectant. Um, if you want to do it for like a special event and you want your hair to be lasting longer, you can use like a workable hairspray has a heat protectant. I wouldn't use a heavy hairspray because um, there's a lot of alcohol in that and so that could like cause your hair to be um, damaged. But if you use just like a workable hairspray, but only do that for like a special event. Um, okay, so what you just saw me do is, I'll show you, I'll repeat the action on this one. Um, you, I'm taking about like a one and a half inch um, up and down piece because of the type of wave I want but usually I say don't take more than like a one inch to one and a half inch around piece of hair for beachy waves um, you can do bigger but then you're gonna get a really loose wave the bigger the piece of hair the looser the wave is gonna look um, and I just wrap my hair around one time you kind of see and then I pull it out the way I like to explain this to people is that it's as if you're curling a ribbon with scissors. If you've ever done that before, um, 
six inch ribbon curls or whatever that is from elf if you guys have ever seen elf um okay i'm going to show you guys really slow this time without getting distracted so i sometimes i will take the straightening iron and just run it one time straight it gets my hair like heated um and it's ready to go then i put the hair I put the hair in like a straightener, twist my wrist a half a turn there, grab the piece, and then just pull all the way down. When it's out, I catch it, and I use my finger to twirl. Then I tug, okay? The reason I do this is because I want to get that really awesome beachy wave, so I do the tug so that it's not too tight, but I also do the finger curl so that it gets the shape of the wave. Once my whole head is curled up, then it's not gonna matter. I'm, I'm gonna run my fingers through it, throw some hairspray in it, and it's gonna loosen it all up. But you wanna start with a little bit of a tighter curl so that you don't end up having your hair go flat like later. If you have super curly hair, it's gonna be way easier for you to keep a wave in your hair if you style it. But, um, or if you have color treated hair like me, where it's like been bleached, cause it's super dry. But if you have like oilier, um, sometimes I leave the end out a little bit too, cause it kind of makes it get the straight look. And what that does is it basically just like makes you like look like you got out of the water and your hair dried, but like the bottom stayed wet. So it like kept a little straighter. Like it's kind of just a stylistic thing. Um, and so you can actually do that too, by just like when you're done with your curls, just kind of straightening the bottoms of them. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying I think, um, <laughs> is that color treated hair, especially bleached hair, blonde hair, drier hair, curlier hair tends to hold a lot better um, because just of how your hair cuticle is. Um, if you have really oily hair, very straight hair, very silky hair, it's not going to hold as well because your cuticles are tighter in your hair, which means your hair is generally healthier, um, but it just means that like your hair doesn't hold as well when it comes to curling or using hot tools. Um, doesn't mean you can't get it to hold, like the right products and the right tools and the right amount of time and patience, um, you can still get it to hold, but it just, it's not as easy. Um, sometimes I go over these two or three times if I'm not happy with the way that they're like coming out. Like that one was kind of a big piece. I probably should have taken a smaller piece but I'm just trying to show you guys like, this is how you would do it at home. And when I do client's hair, I do things a lot differently than when I do my own hair because I, um, I can take a lot of liberties with my own hair and like I've been doing my own hair for a million years. So I like know my hair, I know what it can handle. I know like how I like it to look in the end, which might not be the like, exact professional way so sometimes i do take liberties when i'm doing my own hair versus like how i would do someone else's hair anyway okay so there we go um now i'm going to finish up doing the rest of my head and i'm not going to talk about hair anymore we're going to talk about life so coffee okay so do you guys drink black coffee let me know if you drink coffee at all i don't know do you drink coffee at all but my question is, when I used to work in an office, I used to have this job at this startup company that will remain nameless because sometimes I tell stories about that company and I don't want to get in trouble. So I will never name the company out loud. Um, but if you knew me back then, you already know. Some of you might've even worked for me. I had a huge team that worked under me of like 40 people. Um, and it was a time of life that I had. Anyway, when I worked in the office, a lot of us would, you know, drink coffee. And I always drink my coffee black. I sometimes now I put like almond milk in it and then sometimes I'll get like a fancy drink from Starbucks. But most often I like to drink my coffee black. And I would come to work. I used to take the metro downtown. So I live in Chicago, but I live in the south suburbs, okay? And I grew up on the south side and would always take the metro downtown, which is basically just like a train that's like 
So we have, how do I explain this? We have the L, which is kind of like the subway in New York, but then we have the commuter train. The commuter train is the Metra, and that's like a nicer train that you have to pay to like get from the suburbs to the city, and then you either walk or take the L or whatever to get to like your job. So I would take the Metra in, and then I would um, walk like however long, I think it was like a couple miles, um, to this startup job that I had. And um, I don't like that one, I'm gonna recall that. Um, anyway, so I would, on my way to the Metra in the morning, I would stop at Dunkin' and I would get a large iced black coffee. And so it would take me a while to drink it because obviously you can't drink a large iced black coffee in just like the 30 minute ride that I had on the train, um, unless you're chugging it. So it would take me, like that's why I would get the bigger one so I could you know, drink it for a while. So I would come and it'd be like below zero outside. <laughs> And I'd be walking in to the office. It's like snowing below zero, like wind chill from the lake effect, like all this stuff. And I'd walk into the office with my iced black coffee. <laughs> so my question to you is, cause I got a lot of questions about this back then. Do you drink iced coffee in the winter? Yes or no? And if you live in like California, like you're lucky and that's nice, but doesn't count. <laughs> Do you drink iced coffee when it's freezing, cold-ish, I should say? And then my other question is, do you drink your iced coffee black? Because people would judge me so hard for one, drinking iced coffee in the winter. They were like, it's cold. Don't you wanna drink hot coffee? I'm like, oh, I like iced. I mean, I do drink hot coffee sometimes, but like most of the time I'm in the mood for iced coffee. It just tastes different. And then they'd be like, why do you drink your coffee, your iced coffee black? Like, don't you need some kind of like cream or something in it? It's like, no, I like it black. Also, I discovered when I was like a sophomore in college that for some reason, the combination of dairy and coffee for me causes me to, um, if you know, you know. So I don't put dairy in my coffee at all, which is why occasionally I'll use almond milk or oat milk, but I never use dairy in my coffee because if I do, I'm gonna be having some problems. And when you share a three stall bathroom with you know, a hundred other women in the company, you don't wanna be having those problems. Um, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's my question. Do you drink iced coffee in the winter or when it's cold out? And if you do drink iced coffee, do you drink it with cream, sugar, almond milk, oat milk, nothing, flavor? Do you have to have flavor in your coffee? I know some people that have to have like six pumps of flavor. I can't even do more than like, if I'm gonna get a flavor, I can't do more than like two pumps in a venti or a large, depending on where I go. And I definitely like don't like flavor from Dunkin' Donuts. If I get Dunkin' coffee, it has to be just plain. That's my other question. Okay, if you're a coffee drinker, do you drink your coffee um, from, like, do you drink coffee from Starbucks or coffee from Dunkin'? I'm not talking about like a flavor drink. I'm not talking about an espresso latte. I'm talking about plain coffee. Do you, cause I don't like Starbucks plain coffee. I think Starbucks plain coffee is really gross. I think I'm gonna do a center part today. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, this is like, Sorry, don't mind the hair, but this is my favorite brush ever. Um, and I do need to clean my hair out of it, but it is boar bristle and these. Okay, it's like, it's magic. Um, so the Olivia Garden, you can get it at Ulta. It's literally like my favorite thing ever. Um, put a couple more. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, what I was saying earlier about this oil is like the 100% argan oil I used on my face. I used on my hair, I used on my hangnails, I used on everything. Um, so get yourself products that work well with your skin chemistry, but like 
that you can use multi-purpose, then you're not throwing so much money away. Um, okay, I don't know what I was saying. I was talking about coffee. Okay, so yeah, like do you like the coffee from Starbucks or do you have to get your coffee from Dunkin' if you get it out? Because if I'm getting like a flavored drink, I cannot get it from Dunkin'. I do not like Dunkin's flavored drinks. I don't get flavored drinks very often, so, but if I do, I wanna get them from Starbucks. Or like, I will get, Starbucks has that, um, yeah, that's great. Um, Starbucks has like the pink drinks and stuff like that, and I like those from Starbucks, but then Dunkin' tried to copy them and they're disgusting. Um, same thing with like, Dunkin' tried to copy, copy the cold foam, so gross. Um, but Dunkin', is where it's at if it comes to just like drinking plain coffee because Starbucks, even their blonde roast is like, their Pike's Peak tastes like garbage. Like it tastes like Folgers. Dude, if I wanted Folgers, I would just pay $5 for a giant gallon of it and make it at home. Like, no thank you. <laughs> Do you agree with me or not? Um, yeah, anyway, you guys are probably tired of talking about coffee but I'm enjoying myself. I'm having fun getting ready with you guys. Um, I don't normally do like chatty get readies. Sometimes I do like get readies in the middle of a vlog where I like kind of fast forward a lot. Um, occasionally I miss like little small pieces and that's fine. I literally just quickly curl them and then I just end up kind of shaking them into the rest of the hair and it always like turns out just fine. Um, the thing you need to remember about doing your hair and your makeup is that it's an artistry, right? So it's like, there's no, there's like, I don't wanna say there's no right or wrong way, but there's no, like, there are guidelines of like best practices. Let's put it that way. There's guidelines and best practices that you'll learn. But once you get the basics, you honestly can do things like in your own way and that's okay. So this is the part where I just like brush my fingers through, kind of like loosen them up a little bit. She would try to act cool, but it was obvious like ooh. Okay, so now you guys can kind of see, this is the desired look for me. It's like kind of still straight at the top and then around like my, just under my eyes is when it starts to like build volume where kind of where my cheekbones do. So it sort of follows the shape of my face. And then I get this like tousled wave look. And then you can see like there's these pieces at the bottom that are like that kind of straight, you know, um, that sort of like straight looks like you got out of the water and your hair kind of like dried with this like beachy like swimmer look, okay? It looks super, super good on blonde hair. It also looks good on brown hair, but the dimension that you get when you have highlights in your hair shows off a lot more and like it, you know, it gives a lot more like volume to these curls. Um, I do have kind of like a uh, foilage, <laughs> you wanna call it, um, highlights in here. So there's some highlights and some balayage in here. So you'll see like a little bit of a root, but that actually is intentional. Um, my hair was only done like two weeks ago. So we do that on purpose so that when it grows out, like if I don't have time to get um, in and have her throw some more foils in, then um, I'm still like good for a while because I don't dye my own hair. Um, people do, but that's not for me. Um, <laughs> okay, so now we are gonna move on to me doing my makeup. Um, I have a very, very, very basic skincare routine. Um, the best thing when it comes to skincare, in my opinion, there's huge debate in the industry on this kind of stuff, but my opinion is less is more. You don't want to overdo it on your skin. I do not even do my skincare routine every single day. Um, my biggest issues are from lack of sleep, not skin issues. <laughs> um, I do get some rosacea and, um, 
occasionally acne, uh, but those are usually due to my um, hormonal imbalances. So, uh, because I have PCOS, but I'm not gonna get into that today. Um, so I use a Cetaphil cream, um, eye cream. It's got, like just for right under here and right by my, where my crow's feet, I don't really have crow's feet, but where they will be coming in. Um, and then, like I said, I have the Argan oil um, and I love this stuff. It just makes your skin feel really like buoyant and very smooth. Um, less is more. You can do like, I do a drop here, 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 and here, and that's it. Um, and then this is my favorite face moisturizer. So those are the three products that I use on my face. And then I use a uh, CeraVe um, gentle cleanser. I only wash my face in the shower and I only wash my face and body three times at most a week because my skin is so much softer and so much better if I don't and I'm not like out like working out and getting smelly and stinky so there's really like never a reason for me to take a shower more often than that and then I don't wash my hair more than once a week unless like I do something like I said I get my hair really greasy or something um and it needs to be washed more than once a week but I generally do not I usually just plop it up in a clip on my head when I take a shower and then I don't worry about it. Um, and I know that there are multiple opinions out there on how often to shower, how often to wash your hair, how often to wash your face. Um, but I am not a person who needs to do all that. The way that my skin chemistry works, I am better off not overdoing it than um, like washing my face every night before bed. Like that doesn't work for me. Um, but I will show you the face wash and the um, tool that I use for washing my face. Okay, so this is the cleanser that I use. Um, everybody's out there trying to tell you that you need to spend like tons of money on your skincare routine and you really don't. Um, some of the drugstore products are better than some of the more expensive products. So um, I could talk for days and days and days about how, you know, the FDA regulations and how there's like the US is terrible when it comes to regulations on skincare products, but I will just not you will just not do that. If you guys want me to do that, I'll do a whole different video on it, but I would need you to comment down below and let me know. Um, okay, I have this Vanity Planet um, facial brush. It has a smooth silicone brush head on it. I get a replacement of this every couple of months, like every two months I replace it. Um, but since it's silicone, it doesn't have, it doesn't like hold on to stuff the way that like um, your typical brush would. It's very nice, very gentle on my skin. I use it just along like my cheeks, my nose, my chin, my forehead. Um, and it helps me to kind of scrub out any of that excess dirt and oil. So like I said, I do this two or three times a week um, when I'm in the shower and that's it. Um, I would say maybe once a month, twice a month, I might use um, something like this on my under eyes um, or a face mask. Um, I have a new face mask that I really like that I'll show you. This is the newest face mask that I've gotten. And not only is it amazing, but it's turquoise. So when you put it on your face, you can be like, I'm blue, da ba dee da. Um, <laughs> but it's it's fun. It's a fun color and it's by Sunbum. I love this brand um, personally. It's always worked really well for me. Um, and this one is specifically, I think it has like aloe, banana, aloe, and brown algae and it's supposed to be like um really good if you get sunburn or too much sun or something like that it's soothing as well as being like hydrating face mask um and i used it last night and my skin feels so good okay guys what do you think i'm not wearing lashes today i just did like a very small wing um called like a doe eye um you can kind of see just it's kind of like a stumpy wing um but i like a doe eye look on my eyes um and I pulled out the rest of my curls a little bit more, threw some spray in them, and I'm pretty happy with them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the look today. I think that this is a good look. Now, for my outfit, I have a long pendant necklace on, and I am so excited because I found this dress in the clearance section at Target, in the kids section, and I found it in Chloe size and in an extra large kids, and it happened to fit me. So Chloe and I are wearing identical matching outfits, except our shoes are gonna be different. And I bought her a necklace too, but it's not the same as this one because I wanted her to have something shorter. Um, but anyway, so this is the dress. And 
I don't think that it looks like childish, you know, like I think that it can be pulled off by an adult. So, um, I'm going to match it with my black combat boots and then I have on ooh, black tights and Chloe's going to wear black tights, but she has some really cute, um, high tops, like pink velvet with fur inside high tops that I got her. So, um, if you guys want to see like our full outfits and the rest of um, our trip to Disney on Ice and our little mommy daughter date, then make sure that you're subscribed, hit that bell notification so that you know when I upload it. And I'm hopefully going to be uploading it either later this week or next week. Um, so once you guys are seeing this, you guys should be seeing that vlog in a few days. So anyway, <laughs> Long story short, thank you so much for coming along on this Get Ready With Me. I know it was super chatty and all over the place, but that is just the way that I am. <laughs> My brain just bounces from one thing to the next. So if you guys enjoy that kind of content, you'll enjoy me. <laughs> um, and if you're not new around here, thanks for sticking around. You know, I love you all so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye babes. Mm -hmm.